We want to take you now back to the streets of Bray, incredibly moving to see the thousands of people who have shown up in Bray. They are there as Sinead O'Connor's funeral cortege passes through. There will be a private burial later, but this is a very public moment for people to gather, to remember, to mourn as well. And if we listen in, you could just hear the sounds of people clapping. I say sad, but there's obviously moments of joy there too. I think that's reggae that is playing on a loudspeaker. Uh, and I have just read that moments ago there were people who were gathered uh, near the cortege who broke into a rendition of Nothing Compares to You, which was Sinead O'Connor's greatest hit that she had back in 1990. But uh, roads are closed in Bray, near her home where she used to live, so that fans were able to pay their respects here. Uh, lots of people meeting outside of her house. They laid notes and flowers as well. And then, as you can see, the cortege moving along the coastal road. You can just see the sea there, bidding their farewell when the procession then goes on to what will be a private service. Let's take you to Sarah Gervin, who is in Bray, and joins me now live. Sarah, obviously a sombre day, but we were just hearing some music, and I think it was reggae that was pl playing. So obviously some, some moments of joy and some lovely memories that people are sharing. Yeah, you're absolutely right. This has been a real day of mixed emotions. Of course, people are mourning the loss of Sinead O'Connor at the age of just 56, but they're also celebrating her life and her music. And you did hear some reggae music there. The, for, the funeral cortege has just passed. Sorry, as you can imagine, we're dealing with a crowd of thousands here. It has just passed by um, her former home in Bray where she lived for 15 years and there was a Volkswagen van with uh, speakers strapped to the top of it that was playing some of her greatest hits and just a few moments before the cortege passed there was a massive sing-along people broke out into their own version of Nothing Compares to You and that music was playing but then they stopped in front of her former home the music was cut, they may have been hoping for a moment of silence but there was just clapping and clapping and clapping and that's what you can hear now. The cortege is passing along the coast road. It's about a kilometre long. Thousands of people are following that and have lined these streets. These are Sinead, fam Sinead O'Connor's family members and friends who are just passing along at the moment and as you say they're going on to a private burial. It was a private service held this morning. This is the only public part of her funeral and it shows how important Bray was to her. She lived here for more than a decade. She was part of the community here and it was Bray that her family said she loved living here, she loved the people in it and that has become the focus of her funeral today. And it is a private service and a private burial to mark the end of a life that was there for so many years in the public gaze. Sarah, how many people are talking today, not just about her music and what she meant to them, but also her activism? Many people are speaking about that. One fan I spoke to earlier said that for him, her music was a way to Sinead O'Connor, but when he really fell in love with her and became a super fan, he said, is when he became aware of her activism work. He said that she spoke for people who didn't have a voice, who couldn't speak for themselves. In the 90s, she was talking about abuse, she was talking about misogyny, hypocrisy, when no one else in Ireland was talking about that, but she did, and that's why her fans wanted to stand here for her today. Sarah, we're just taking a moment to listen in, hearing those many thousands of people who are there just walking along and clapping as the cortege goes past. Do we know what's going to happen later today in terms of the private ceremony? 
Well, no details of that have been released as yet. We know that Sinead O'Connor was a reluctant superstar. She was the pop star who didn't want to be a pop star and really struggled with life in the public eye for many years. And that's perhaps why so many elements of this funeral today have been private. That private service that was held nearby her. And there has been a lot of speculation about what kind of service that was because we know that Sinead O'Connor converted to Islam a number of years ago. But this is the only private uh, part of her funeral proceedings today. The rest is private and no other details have been released by her family members or her management or anyone. We saw them passing by just a few minutes ago and I suppose it's a moment for them. She was a global superstar but she chose and they chose to have her funeral proceedings here in Bray, a coastal town in County Wicklow and that's a moment for them to have, for their Sinead. Sarah, thank you so much. And we leave those pictures in Bray, but we will be returning there throughout the day here on BBC News. As you can see, thousands of people just walking alongside, clapping, throwing flowers, walking alongside the cortege, paying their respects uh, to Sinead O'Connor.